I once read in a philosophy book that when people were asked what they would rather do, go to an opera or watch a sitcom, they'd probably rather watch a sitcom. But when asked which one has more value, they would say the opera. For me, Steinbeck fulfills both categories. He is so entertaining to read. You really just fall in love with his characters and you get that feeling of reading high literature, of reading about humanity. And I can't think of a better author that conveys humanity than John Steinbeck. The first book of his that I read was Of Mice and Men, and I read it when I was about 16 years old. So technically I've been reading Steinbeck for about 10 years. I actually started reading Steinbeck, or really heard of him, from a show called One Tree Hill, which I'm a little bit embarrassed to admit. One of my favorite characters on the show was reading one of his books, so I decided to pick up a Steinbeck novel, and it changed my literary life. He's been one of the authors that I've continuously turned to when I just want a good read, and I know it's going to be a good read. After reading Of Mice and Men, I bought a book of his short novels, and I read The Red Pony and The Pearl, and then I read Tortilla Flat when I was in college. Tortilla Flat has really become one of my favorites of Steinbeck's because he makes me sympathize with these characters that I traditionally wouldn't have. You know, these lazy, drunk men <laughs> that try to get away with everything they can and, and will do anything for a glass of wine. You end up falling in love with them and you feel so much from them. I remember the first time I read one of his longer works, it was The Grapes of Wrath, and I was in high school. And even at that age, I knew that this was something special. The way that he switched chapters from telling a story to speaking about this time period as a whole, it was phenomenal to me, and I don't even know which chapters I preferred. They were just both amazing. <laughs> As much as I cherish all the books that I already have of Steinbeck's and those that I've read, I'm so excited with the fact that there are still more of him that I have yet to read. Part of me doesn't want to get through it all so that I'll always have a Steinbeck to read in the future.